police department is corrupt and they are lying to you and to the public and to everybody else about what's the details of these shootings. They are whitewashing and covering up to cover up for the bad apple. We have officers that shouldn't be officers and that's well documented. And, and uh, so, you know, basically I'm looking at, you know, target grand jury and, and a mediation, maybe a, a preliminary hearing in each one of these cases in order to actually get the truth out. I would love the preliminary hearing. The problem with the preliminary hearing legally is we have to have probable cause to, to start the process. An officer and shooting an individual in the back is not probable cause? It's, it's, it's not in and of itself. Mm -hmm. All of the facts have to be looked at. And, and these cases can be complex. And so um, we're willing to, to work with you, we're willing to talk to you, we're willing to do whatever we can. Um, and, and once again, I, I'm very sorry for, for the position that you're in. I, I just don't want this pain to be inflicted on any other families or any other fathers. Uh, you know, 17 in one year was four times the national average for per capita in our city. And, and we definitely have some killer cops that need to be held accountable for their actions. Is that a picture of your son? This is a picture of my son. He turned 21 when he was in Iraq. They flew our planes into our buildings, and my son got very upset about Al-Qaeda coming over here and attacking America. I'm very, very patriotic. I love my country, and I instilled that love into my son, and he put his welding career and his family on hold to go to war for this country survived five different IED explosions and came back wounded with post-traumatic stress and APD did not know how to handle him, did not know how to do a crisis intervention, did not know how to, and they, and they shot my son down and, and, and while he was bleeding and convulsing on the ground they went over and put handcuffs on him. Six months later a canine officer got killed. They did first aid and saved the dog's life. You know, there's so many wrongs that went on here that I can, uh, I, I'm my main goal is I got five grandsons growing up in this city, and if APD victimizes any more of my family, I don't know if I'm going to be able to control myself or not. This is not right what's happening. I have a lot of officers that are thanking me for campaigning to get DOJ here, and I got about 20% of them, which is the 60% of the uh, repeat uh, citizen complaints that we have. Um, you know, 20% uh, of the officers are like, you know, growling at me, you know, uh, cursing me and scorning me and, and, and upset. So the, the point is is that we have officers that need to be indicted on murder charges and I'm counting on DOJ to do exactly that. And I appreciate your time and allowing me to we come are, to your press you, conference. Thank you for being here and also uh, we are working with DOJ. I mean, we met with them I think the day after they made their announcement that they were coming and we are available and, and they know that we will work with them in any way. That we can be helpful and they'll determine that. Yeah, I, I'm optimistic that, you know, and I still have faith in my country and my government, and I, and I really hope that, uh, you know, I'm here to help, help help the police department and help get this system right, because it's been, uh, it, it's been a frost, it's been a, a total uh, fleecing of the public, and, and to, to say to the public and to announce that the grand jury has is, is, is justified and cleared this officer for this shooting is, is, is just not, uh, it, like I say, it's a frost, it's a lie to the public, it's a cover-up, and, and uh, and DOJ will get to the bottom of it, and I anticipate uh, some indictments. And and, uh, and I and I really uh, am, uh, as you can tell, very upset and very determined on getting to the bottom of these cases. So I, I appreciate you allowing me to come to your press conference, and thank you for your time. Anything else? Um, you were.